Howdy, howdy, already friends. It's Thursday. It might get deep. We're thoughting. Here's this is P over here. M over there. Patricia, Mariah, and together we, we are PM Artist Studio. No, oh. flare at the end there. Alrighty, my arty friends. I do have some announcements. Let me get those out of the way while I'm doing that. Yes, I see lots of little hands and. I'm going to get to hellos here in just a second, but if I don't do this, you know, announcement business, then I feel like I'm always going to forget, so. Okay, as I had mentioned uh, last time, playlists have been updated, so if you want to check those out, you're looking for anybody's particular video for uh, makers events or just a spotlight kind of situation, you know, you're looking for something to watch that, you know, is PM related, that's the place to go. We did an interview in one of those spotlights. So if you go to the spotlight playlist, you get to see our interview with, um, or we were interviewed by Christopher yesterday. Super duper fun. I mean, really, we had a blast. We and did. it sounds like he had a real good time too. So that's that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm reading my notes here, and I guess it auto spell checked it or whatever. And I'm like, prisms have been updated. I'm like, prisms? Why did I write that? PM isms have been updated. Mo supplied me. And I was like, oh, Mo, I think I have those. I didn't have a darn one of them. <laughs> and I just, they were, they were in my brain. That's where they were living. And then they lived in her brain. A lot and of things live in my brain and never make it out of my she mouth. She wrote them down and then sent them to me. And it was so, right. I like I like that Mo sends me her version because it's really cute. There's certain things like that she picks up on that like, I don't, you know, or that like, you know, how she, so on the Tambien thing. So she went with French. No. Oh. <laughs> and she says, so it says, sounds French or whatever. Well, but Tambien, it's like, that's, that's Spanish. It's, you know, as well. As. Also. Tambien. Tambien. So I put that in there, but I left her little thing about the, but Tambien is something else in French. I think oh, it is? Yeah, it's um, like tombs or something. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Tambien. It does not mean that also. <laughs> That's funny too. Okay, so there you go. Uh, remember, we've got Darcy's uh, interview. We will be interviewing her on this coming Sunday. So that's super fun. There's kind of the updates, the this, that, and the other. Those are my announcements. Keeping it short and simple today. Let's say hello to everybody. Here we go. Angela Apple, Betty, Brad, Cat, Christopher, Cookie Wookie, that's Mo, Dana, Devin Rex, that's Yolan, Eddie, Erna, Griffin Chill, that's Rhonda, Gwen78, hello and welcome. <clears throat> Isabel, Jeanette, Lori, Lydia, making it with Minglet, that's Lisa Mingus. Nancy, Patricia Pfeiffer, Paula, Penka, Pia, Ricky Nordmar, SAG, that's Sarah, Serenity Studio Art, that's Diana, Sue Davis, Susan Anderson, Susan Bilyeu, I love that we got the Sues in the house, Susan Burns, hello, SWL, that's Sherry, the Shelley Studio, that's Margot, Tina Svonberg, Tracy LaBeouf, Trisha Dewey, Wendy, and I know some people have been popping in and out there like, sorry, just came in there, and I know, like, my list kind of changed, so if I missed you, you know, just give me the pink hello hand, and then I will get you, Nancy B. All right, so there is the hellos and all of that. It's your turn. All right, why, <clears throat> why is my chat down below and all of you and I are at the top? Oh, good golly, I gotta it's go. It's not like beside. Do you want to have more access to chat or? Do, what? I'm not looking at myself. I mean, I do okay, occasionally make sure that, you know. I don't know how yours gets wonky. I really don't really. Understand. I don't either, Mariah. That happens so much in my life. Well, sometimes I can explain some of these things. Okay, well, that wasn't really the idea there. Oh, and then sometimes you gotta watch out, especially with this mouse those weird things but okay probably not a very good look for me here but it'll load here in a second there you go well that's not exactly what I had in mind but I guess it'll work <laughs> that's what you get that's 
what I get, but it used to be just on one screen. Yeah, I don't know. Over I, to the side. I probably just need to get out and come back in. <laughs> and we got a lot to do today. Do you want to be we fussing do. about I with that? No, I don't really care about that anyway. Okay, very good. We did sing today. What? We, we did sing. Yeah, we did. You missed it. Missed it, Eddie. What are you doing? Oh, there's Eddie. Oh, Eddie, I wrote out a really, a really wonderful. I should have copied that. Because it was a really well thought out response to somebody wondering why you weren't, you know, jumping on those. Mm -hmm. uh, did you watch the stream back? I didn't. I haven't had time yet. I mean, I have just been busting it, okay. trying to get my thoughts in order mm -hmm. and all of my tags. I made some new tags. Hello, Veranda. Margie. Sorry, I was over there futzing around with Little Miss Thing's thing. Okay, can we move along here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's on to you. You're in charge. I'm in charge? Mm -hmm. Are you finished? Yeah. Did you say hello to everybody? I did. Jennifer, you... hello. Now it's just, you know, trickling in. I did the big list. Yes, we're done. Okay, so you just have tricklers. Boy, is everybody here? <laughs> hello? Is this thing on? Tricklers. <laughs> tricklers. Okay. Please you're, don't be offended by that. You're a trickler. You need to a high five us with a pink hand. Oh, chicken salad is prepped. I would like some of that. I would is too. I had some chicken salad the other day and it was less than spectacular. Oh my God, we found some keto bread. I like it. Really? What's it made from? Um, some seeds. Well, that's <laughs> some other things. <laughs> we should talk about nuts here in a minute. Yay, nuts. Okay. Thursday Thoughts, February 22nd, 2024. I do have some places I want to send you. And I did not get these to Mariah ahead of time. I apologize, but I'm sure that she will take it up and um, add it to whatever list, that, you know, of things to go to. <laughs> Sounded like some things. Yeah, okay. Well, you okay. know, at least she's not telling you to go to hell. Uh, Hi, Trish. Okay, and here is, and this this is what, I can't even remember how this came up in my feet. It's like, you know. Goats. Goats. They just show up and they she watches They just show them. up over there, and, and I'm, I'm just intrigued, and so I check it out. All right, this person, her name is Barbara Mason, and she does Golden Road Arts, and it's not for adults. Mainly, it's for children, but um, I thought it was really wonderful. She gives you 50 free art lessons, no charge. Oh, you can make donations, which are tax deductible, and they have a 501c3 number that you can use just in case. And the title of the one that I watched was How to Create Tunnel Books. Oh, yes, you were kind of telling me about that. Yeah, okay, a little okay. Bit. all right. Well, anyway, absolutely fascinating. So while I was watching her video, say her name again, Barbara Mason, okay. Golden Road Arts. There you go, guys. Well, uh, this commercial came up in her, you know, how, how they do. Uh, <clears throat> and I didn't, usually I'm sitting there waiting for it to get to skip, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what they did. They did something really good because I, I went past skip. I watched it. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it. So, it's called Jim Quick's Brain Hacks, and it's from mindvalley.com dash slash superbrain. And I think the thing that really, you know, when I was watching it, one of the, his quotations was, argue for your limitations and you will get them. Mm. I thought that that was absolutely brilliant. But he's talking about metacognition. He, he grew up uh, with, he, he fell off a chair and seriously damaged his brain. And it, it, it messed it up so that it, he was learning disabled. Anyway, he goes through this whole thing and he teaches you, you know, uh, what do you get out of the time spent here? Well, he tells you. And I thought it related so totally to what we do every day. What is your motivation for being here? And I know everybody has, has, has a different you know, impetus on why you do show up here. And I hope that we are able to fulfill 
a lot of those and I know we don't meet all of your expectations trust me I I don't even meet my expectations sometimes <laughs> um, but I do think it's important to know why you show up and why you participate because that helps you establish your intentions for being here mm -hmm. why am I here and and what do I want to get out of this kind of like when you walk into the kitchen you're like what did I come here for yeah yeah if you have that right up at the top of the, the thing then you know if I'm going to ask you to establish your motivation, I should be able to do mine. Here's mine. My motivation is twofold. Number one, I have a purpose and fulfillment in doing what I do, and it gives me great joy to share it. And Mariah and I were downstairs today talking about this, and, and we are in total agreement on that because that is what she basically told me this morning before she even knew that I had written all this down. Number two, I hope to inspire by showing that with practice and perseverance, it's possible, it's possible to see the possibilities. And I know that that sounds really strange, but see those possibilities rather than arguing for your limitations. Yep. Always go with possibilities, always. And I very rarely use the word always. I feel pretty comfortable Sometimes. using it in this t context here. Okay. So, example, the netting. Even though it's an object and it's as such inanimate, it, it will become what you want it to become. But you have to first somehow visualize it in your brain as it being something other than what it came as. Yes. So much like that is life. People that you run into. You know, the netting that they're covered in isn't necessarily what they're best at. They're yeah. just showing you that part. Okay, now you watched me the other day struggle with the netting. So, well, if you didn't, you can go back and watch that. I'm, I'm informed that it was. There were some even questions regarding had you meant to do what you did and then you, you addressed that last time, which it was, no, you really hadn't because you'd. Well, kind of, some of it I had, hadn't, I had. Right. I had <laughs> anticipated that I was but you know, I was working with two separate things there and I forgot that the other one, you know, cause I glued it down for you. Right. I, I was gonna pull that one off to just show you what a marvelous print you could get Got from that. Thing. But um, I don't know what happened. Got but, busy, it went underneath something. Yeah, and got flattened out and what, so we had to go to plan B. You know, I, I'm big on plan Bs. Is, do, you, do you want your examples right now or? <gasps> oh, well, we should, we should because that's just, It feels know, like a natural. A natural. Uh, yeah, a natural into this. Okay. okay. Now, uh, let me go topside real quick because that'll be, and then we can switch back if we yeah. need to. All right. These are some that I've created using that netting. And I can't remember. The purple really is quite uh, rare. Yeah, I was wondering I about that. I don't know from <laughs> where that yeah. came. But look at that little beautiful little glittery. Yeah, I don't know what else. Ladybug, that's that's some of Izzy stuff. And now, then, of course, the tool. Hey, here's a thought. It could have even been toys or something like that. <gasps> oh, remember when yes. she was a little baby? Or like, little we'd get bath toys and stuff. and sometimes Bath like, balls or whatever, mm -hmm. something like that. So keep an eye out for those, too, not just in the produce. Yeah, for sure. And then here are... You really needed that purple for your purple book. Like, it could have just I know. saved you. I could have it. saved it. Now, I, I think that this was some stuff that came around the turkey. Uh-huh. It's, it's much softer. It's fluffy, almost. Yeah. And, and uh, I think, but anyway, so had these little flowers that Mariah had cut out. We were using those on cards and whatnot. But this goes on her, the big part, and I did make two just in case. Mm -hmm. and, and all of these colors that are on here were colors that were in her dress. <laughs> so she had... A big one and then if she wanted to wear little pigtaily things we had these two little ones on the side there so don't you know I always say consider the possibilities of things rather than the liabilities and that'll get you far in life now I, I saved this one Mariah put this on the stairs and Mariah saved this one Mariah saved this one Brad opened it yes yeah, because so he obviously did not know it's value. 
the correct way on which to open these, but it's not to put a big slit in that side, because that's the side that you've got the full net. You want to very carefully come in and cut along the edge. Just like filleting a fish. It is, very much so. That's a good analogy. You want to get your full net on, or off. <laughs> Then you, you want to just cut along there. That's going to release those so that you have big pieces to work with on the side. Now, this is probably going to work pretty well because yeah. on this side, he, he did happen to get in there and, and do that. But this is much softer. I'm not sure why he cut it from both sides. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's one stuck down in there or something. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. It was an interesting approach. It was. But anyhow. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. So we've got the yellow netting to work with at some point. I don't know that we'll... And hello, hello to everybody that is coming in. If you don't want us to, you know, say hello back or whatever, All right. that's now fine. Now you need to go Thumbs top side up. again because I don't... I, I'm going to read this. And I, I need to read okay, it. Okay, top... Yeah, hold on here. Okay. Back to okay. side to side. So, and see I have a little arrow that says, Determination, go here. Someone, and this, this was um, at SL, SWL9270. I don't, I'm not She's sure. She's here. Are you here today? Good. Because your, your um, comment prompted this. And I really, you know, I know I want you to know I read these comments. And I take them to heart. And I, they just stimulate all kinds of ideas that maybe you didn't know. So... Don't give up on those. And, you know, don't I, be afraid to say whatever it is that you're going to say there. Because whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, we discuss I get it. to decide that. And we, Yeah, we discuss it. And we discuss it. We do. Hello, Betsy. So you use the word, the prompt. Hello. And, you know, how did this journal get, how did this journal, this book get started? You know, what was the, the. Motivation. Motivation. There you go. Actually, my motivation, and I'm going to read you a quote from Picasso. You have to have an idea of what you're going to do, but it should be a vague idea. This is the jello. Jello, not concrete. Okay? The possum pout is yes to be totally realized. We're going to work on it today. <laughs> because it's obviously, a lot of you have that on your mind, and it is... Oh. Right up there, and I, I should pounce on this because the mm -hmm. interest level is there. Yes. It should be noted that while I do begin a project with a seminal idea, vague, what happens in pursuit of that can rapidly change depending on the developments of events. Remember to think in terms of fluidity. Jello, mm -hmm. not concrete. Or think of it, the live stream, as a fruitcake. Okay. Oh. Suggestions can be made of what kind of fruits or nuts that you can add. But you, the baker, get to decide what fruit and nuts you're going to put in your cake. And I would say that if you're going to frost it, please use cream cheese frosting. Especially if you're serving it up to her. Yeah. That, that, that's, um... uh, Brad says that he was not the one who cut it. He thinks that it was man. But that also makes more sense. It does. Bless his heart. <laughs> I love the man, but... Okay. The live stream can also function in the capacity of the cautionary tale of what not to do. Remember, you know that feeling when you're throwing away the leftovers that you felt very sanctimonious about saving in the first place. You're throwing them away so that you don't kill the members of your family or the animals. Or at the very least, very ill. Yeah. The thing is, I am usually having fun pursuing hot thoughts of in the moment, and it may not be the directly related to the original premise, but just go with it. I try to. I know I don't always succeed, and I'm always happier when I do. Thank you. Thank you for coming along and giving me the inspirational impetus in doing so. I couldn't be who I am here if you weren't out there. Or why would I even want to? I mean, well, I do have self-dialogue a lot but you know it's really nice to have other people acknowledge that they actually heard what you sometimes just thought was in your head you know it's it's really weird because it's like uh even when we very first started this whole journey of being on youtube um 
we were making art and doing arty things way before that. This allowed us, and it was one of those things that we didn't even realize until it started becoming something, that this was such a cool, awesome community of people that, because P used to say, nobody's like me. I've never met anybody like me. I'm like, I'm sure they're out there. It's just you guys are all, you know, hiding out, you know, talking about being hermits. Yeah. <laughs> like going out and being social. <laughs> we don't. I, I don't. So, you know, yeah. Don't feel the need for that. And when I do, it's usually painful. Sometimes but, for other people as well as myself. But this is such a, I mean, this is when technology is awesome. And we talked a little bit about this yesterday on Christopher's stream that, you know, Technology can be very frustrating and terrible and all of these things. And social media can be very horrible. It can also, and has allowed us, and I think many of you guys feel this way, this access to people that we would never have otherwise. And that is amazing. I think it is too, because it's... Mm -hmm. It's like being there. It's like coming over for an afternoon coffee. 100%. And, you know, without the travel time and the headache of the mm -hmm. airlines and, and whatnot. Yes. And I just, you know, plus I've got all my stuff here around me. I'm totally in my comfort zone. And when mm -hmm. I am, I'm a lot nicer person to be around. And Mo also says it prevents punch in the face moments. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, um, yeah, when I'm out, out and about or I'm just sitting there thinking about the cool stuff that I could be doing if I were at home while some person is, you know, yammering at me. <laughs> I just me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, it's just it's it's just it's not that other people don't have interesting things to say. It's just I ain't into it. Um, yeah, so that's not where I am in my whole scheme of things and I love my son, but I don't really enjoy talking about tennis and bless his heart well, he is a 100 he, you know I got all in him. he is all in he is 100% and I love that about him but it's hard for us hey, to have Mark. a meaningful conversation mm -hmm. because and, and, yeah. he, and he's usually kind of dismissive of what we do which it isn't, isn't a great conversation. And I think some of you, I've, I've read it in the comments and, and I've seen it before that it's like you, you have that similar thing with family members. It's like you show them something and you're like expecting that, you know, what we, what we give you like in Makers or whatever, which is, oh my God, that's so amazing. Where did you find that? What did, how did you do that? And, you know, but our families don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> They're like. So what are you going to do with it? <laughs> that that's the main question. What you know? What it needs to have some ulterior purpose other than just the process of doing it's it. It's like no, I'm putting it on the shelf, and I just showed it to you, and you were supposed to ooh and awed at it. That, yeah. that's the it's, thing. It's like you 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 failed the test. Yeah, go back to your room and yeah. start over. Start again. over. All right, I'm ready to go topside, Mariah. Okay, we'll go back over there. And I I have to show you this, and Izzy brought it up to me today. Oh, she was so excited that she. Had it for you. All right, well, but initially, Mariah had. I saw it in the parking lot. I said, here, hold on to this. Gigi will love it. And sure enough, and I, I may actually make this into something that. It's pretty interesting. It is, because if you look really close there, that's, that little mashed part almost looks like a heart. Hey. Oh. There you go. Mashed part almost looks like a heart. I thought it sort of looked like a person crawling out of a hole. Oh, yeah, you could, it's a little alien person. See, there's their yeah. hand, there's their face, there's their eyes. They're going, ah! Or the back of their head. Could be hair. Yeah. <coughs> it, it, I'm sure it began its life as a button, but now it's something else. But isn't it wonderful? And I don't know if I yes, can actually sir. get something. See, I think I, yeah, I can see through that. I could start thread threads through that. Mm -hmm. See, Kat even says, she says, you were spot on. My family is not near as excited about my art as they should be. Yeah. Well, you just have to realize that they just they don't know all of the things. 
They don't know all of the things. Oh my god, it does. So Eddie was showing me these little Dutch pens, and then he gave me a link. I still did, like, are those yours, or were you just showing me things? I just, I didn't really understand, and then I forgot that. I liked them a lot. I wanted yeah. to know if you were in possession of them, or... Just showing us things. Just showing us stuff that we couldn't have, and that's really rude. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. But yes, it's, he said it kind of reminded him of the Dutch charm things that he was showing us, which were really cool and weird. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, the other night when I was, um, I've got something in my eyeball. I can't remember what I was watching. No, it obviously wasn't all that stimulating because I was doing other things. And I, I decided, I, I'm getting a little anxious that I don't have enough tags to put in my mm -hmm. pouches. Just because she hasn't stumbled across, you haven't stumbled across your tag bag in a little bit. And well, yes, I do. But, you know, <laughs> the problem is is some of those tags just don't, they don't feel right. You know, they don't fit yeah. the pouch. They don't fit the feel of the mm. book. Sorry, swallowing. Um, we have printable versions of the leaves. Oh, yes, you're just... Y'all asked. I delivered. Covered them up. <laughs> and then I was talking to Carrie today, and I was so proud of it, and I was like, and I made the small ones like you requested, and he said, oh, are they ATC size? I said, well, I don't know about that. Let's see. <laughs> and they are. Yay. Okay, I found them. I found them over there. Okay, here they are. Now, they are printables, meaning you got to print them out yourself. You download it, and you print it. That's all I'm saying about that. This particular set, I sort of printed it on, like, it, it's on the 32-pound hammer mill, so it's nice paper, but at a sort of medium setting of the print quality for this purpose, because I don't know what everybody's is, and I don't want to set you up for whatever. So, I just, this is disclaimer. Me medium quality. Well, and see, you see them all here, and these little pieces don't, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, you keep the front page. Keep these, because these are good little testers, mm -hmm. you know. If you want to test and see what's going to happen to something, you can use these little Diane. pieces. And then, you know, use them later for something else. Mm -hmm. Well, I was pleasant, I pleasantly pleased by the quality. Because sometimes I'm very disappointed when these get and, and they all have shimmer on them, so that is always tricky. But I, yes, I think that overall, pretty happy with that. And look, you know where it is. And that's what I think. Is. Mm -hmm. And you've got the nice little halo effect around our goddess there. And if you wanted to, you can do more of that. In fact, I don't know that I will today because I have a lot of things in the works, but to show you some different techniques to make these quintessentially yours. And that's the big key. Now, one thing that I did do, because I thought maybe you would want to, if, if those of you that own the goddess stamps or um, now the, the other ones I didn't really think about, and it, it just is what it is, but as far as the... the goddesses that are stamped on here if you own the stamps they should be relatively the same size yeah the leaves are smaller these are smaller than her leaves because she has the tester set of the goddesses yeah so you you size them down accordingly. number one to fit on sheets like this which i think people are probably going to be more apt to use in oh I, I think so too and then you have the side by side, so you can mirror it. You can glue them together, or, you know, or you just have. More I just leads. I love this one. This looks almost three dimensional, there, doesn't it? Mm hmm. And I loved how the, I I like the colors on this one better than mine. Well, that's the Marsha Markle leaf. I know it is, but I just love the way it photographed. How about that? Bye, Devin. Thanks for hanging. No worries. Love this. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lexi. Now, you gotta go. You back. have to remember that Mariah did this. Mm -hmm. the, she photographed this before this the, yeah. its final destination. Yeah, so it's on you. To so you're going to have to do your little own little leaf embossing there mm -hmm. if you want to get that effect. And then here's the final, and I thought this was brilliant. I, I mean, pleased. that really, I, it looks like the original. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, everybody's printer prints differently, so yours may be different. Maybe it's different if you use different paper, so, you know. So, that was a little extra that, you know, I, I was surprised to see that, and pleasantly surprised. 
So a total of nine pages, ten, including the um, that. cover. There you go. There Hi, you go. Anthony. All right. Now, I want to get my, you know, we made a list. Okay. We made a list. And this is something that I would advise you to do when you get to the point of you're like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know what else. All right, Diane. I don't know what else. Oh, whoops. I don't want to do that. Can't do that. Okay, there we go. All right. So, remember the media checklist? Oh, yes. Well, if you're really bogged down and things are not going like you really wanted them to go and you don't know what else to do at that certain point in time, I mean, I have those. I just check out this, and I, I decide, you know, okay, what else could I do? And I think, didn't, I know I posted this in Makers, and I'm, I also feel like I might have made a Put it blog. in the blog, I thought. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I didn't do anything with it other than make the list right here. Yeah. But here, if you look at, under gel prints, look at all these different kinds of gel prints. I mean, you know, right mm -hmm. there, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different eight different kinds of uses of gel prints and then uh, cutouts fold overs see-throughs okay. slit pockets or possum pockets I should write that down collage modeling paste watercolor now i haven't done watercolor yet but i am i am saving that idea to do a tag and i've got an idea for a tag using watercolor. Color pencils, I already used that. Yeah. For Tosh, we're going to do a little bit of that today mm. with the oil pastels. Uh, fancy writing, that will occur when I put on the quotes. Uh, paper beads and rolled up tissue on a stick. Well, remember when I, <laughs> remember when I did, did the stems for the flowers? Oh, yeah. With the tissue oh, yeah, paper scrunched. and scrunched them down there? I'm kind of thinking about that idea for doing some some maybe some beads well or even to bring up some viney things on the panels themselves into the trees absolutely and i've got lots of gel prints back here and you do to do the um that rolled up tissue paper stick mm -hmm. thing it does need to be tissue paper i tried it with the other kind of paper and it just doesn't work very good it tears and, and it's it's not nice and i would recommend the um what do you call that stuff carnival sewing of some sort i don't have any sewing of some sort but that could come in when i'm getting ready to do the wrap around oh yeah definitely thing on the yeah okay uh fabrics lace woven and also in that eyelets well all i have to do is do a couple of eyelets on my tags which i i, I would do String or thread? Oh, she could have me do. Oh my I, God! I just had an idea when you said, "Well, because you know, my my brain goes straight to." Ooh, I need to do a spiral swirl, you know, slow swirl thing. But I could do that on maybe like once it's all done, one little final moon something. Oh in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe a couple, or three. That would be fun. Okay, got that covered. Uh, pencil shavings and paste for homemade texture. I don't know that I'm going to to have a place for that, but remember, I do have the tag that has the the mini balls. Oh yeah, on, on the I side. I think that kind of counts. And I think that kind of you've counts. textured with trees and and actually, I need to make some more pencil shaving paste because my other has solidified. <laughs> I checked it out the other day. I was going to do something with it. Well, it's also good to know that it does finally set. You know, oh, there's that. Yes. And, I was worried that... And, it, and when I poked it... <laughs> it, it, it poked back. poked back. <laughs> so my finger's still a little sore. Um, kitchen towels. I don't know that I'm going to use kitchen towels, but I could. Stamping. We've already done some stamping. This is where you can really bring in, like, the tags. You can get a little more crazy with more technique. Yes. Absolutely. Photo transfers, I don't have any on here, but I'm thinking I could, I've got, I still have some tissue paper um, that I used when I did the transfer, the ones that I pull, pulled off. Yeah, and I think, didn't we even keep some of the, we kept some of the trees, remember when you took the pictures down at the pond? 
and oh, that would go really yes, nicely and if you could would. do a transfer onto a tag or something all right well now see this is why you go through your list yeah keep that in mind magnets i've already thought about i, I think that what i'm going to have mariah do with my window and to keep that tag where it needs to be yes in the whole whole thing it needs to be magneted it needs to be magneted mm -hmm. okay uh stickers hi leslie well i've got those stickers that um becky yeah becky sent that i can use just re need to remember that feathers i'm not a really big feather person oh you know what you're not even remembering we have some of the most <gasps> badass feathers that mo sent us we do do you know where those are i do Oh, God. See? PM Artist Studio for a reason. <laughs> Metal, wire, washers, and beads. Well, I've got this little jobber that I could actually take off of here and put on there. And we decided that came from Julie Parker, right? No, I made this one. Oh. Ju I got the idea from, from the ones Julie that she Parker. made. And my, I, my beads started out round. <laughs> It wasn't fat enough round to make it round, so it had to get squished. This is why I say, you know... Be prepared to modify your plan. Be, and think fluid. Yeah, be jello, not concrete. Jello, not concrete. Now, where were we here? Envelopes <laughs> and windows. What? <laughs> um, so, uh, Eddie asked Mo how often she molts, since we have awesome Mo feathers. <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. With those kind of questions, you may not receive any yeah. feathers. You may see, receive something else, which is... No, she just told him what's up, like what the real deal was. Ah. Okay, uh -huh. uh, heat embossing. Okay, hey, we've got those. Winder impressions. I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I do have some. Sprays and spattering. Yep. Um, and drawing and doodling. Okay, the drawing and doodling and the watercolor thing are going to go together. Together. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I have <laughs> this idea. And remember when March Madness comes up, we've got two days allotted to watercolor. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, and of course it will be on tags because the book will more or less be, uh, hopefully by the, I don't, may not be finished. Okay, so. I decided I needed, pardon me, some tags with similar rocky things on yeah. them. But look at this wonderful job that I did here. Yeah. Okay, and what I used was I used my um, dark brown I washout and my white. Hi, Tutu. This. It's the Rich Espresso. In the Deco Arts metallic. That's a fantastic color. These two together made that, but isn't that marvelous? But look at the wonderful uh, brush strokes that you see from the gesso. Because that's part of the charm here. Then on the back, and I don't know, this is from packaging, I did the leaves. Bring it down towards you. There you go. Those are our leaves. Oh, yeah. Some original. Yeah. Stampy, you know, PM Artist Studio. Yeah. And I, I sent the other half, half of these leaves off to Eva oh. when we did our collab project. I wish she'd hang out with us more. I know. I don't. I don't know. Well, she gets annoyed with us. She, yeah, she does. And I apologize, but we, we don't. That doesn't mean I love her no, any less. She I, doesn't I, have I, to love everything I do. She, it cracks me up because she's like, she did. She's never really said it. But it, it, it certainly was like the, the gist of it was that um, she loves us. She loves it when we do art. She does not care for all the yammery yammering. Yeah. Basically. Like, but that, she's never said that, ever. She, she never, ever said that. We read but between I, the lines. And, and that doesn't mean we love her any less. No, I, no. I, I absolutely, I love her and I respect her as oh, an yeah. artist. She's amazing. So, Eva, if you pop in, we're, we're talking about you. Okay. Lo loving on you. Loving on you. That's right. She does awesome stuff that I, I'm I so impressed. I can check in with her. And I'm so impressed with her ability to maneuver images using the computer because I don't have that. I Yeah, she's... I try to 
think she's 86 now. I, I'm not, I, I don't know, but I just know mm -hmm. that she is a master at manipulating yeah. imagery using the computer If y'all don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Eva Macy. She is part of Makers, or you can search her stuff in Makers. It, yes, and she, you can search her under her, her own name. Yes, and, and she posts stuff all the time. She's a very good poster. Uh, but anyway, we did a, a collab together, and I, I sent her the other half of this. So, you mm -hmm. know, I, I don't know. I, I love that I remember that I did that yeah. because at the time, I think I did this because, I don't know, Mariah, they had we, a lot of, of things going on, and they couldn't make another one of these because it takes a long time to cut these. Yes. And I said, well, never mind. I'll just cut mine in two and send the other half to Eva, and, and she has it. So... And I think it's looking quite spectacular. Yeah, it is. It's really at the point where I, I'm wondering maybe I should retire it. And, you know, I could make this into a totally awesome pocket. And it would go with the book. And it would go with the book. Mm -hmm. I mean, either side here. Oh, Trisha Dewey knows Eva. She took some of her digital art classes years ago. Oh, she's been around for a long time. Like, she's, she's written books. Written books. And yeah, I mean, she's a totally she's amazing, legit. amazing woman. She just I, we she were just, better people for her showing up. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> our, our 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 channel got a lot more. Our art cred le got like, legit. Yeah, <laughs> then she's like, "God, you guys are too." Uh, I, I I know too I, I know where she's coming from because I don't always I don't always like my yimmery yammery when I, I I don't watch my reruns because it's just too painful. Can you see this? Yes. I do. I love this one, and this side kind of reminds me of uh, the colors Vincent Van Gogh's The oh, Night Cafe. Thank you, Mo. Mo put in. I yeah. Those are the PM artists or PM leaves. I think that's what we call them because they're our leaves. They're her leaves. They started out as a little stamp. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I've got these, and I, I'm hoping that maybe we can do something with these today. If not today, then later. And you, you know what colors I use to get the. Um, this nice little, it's not those wonderful, those little. Uh, something to keep in mind for those of you that are like, you know, on your mobile devices and things of that nature, um, to check your updates. Uh, Cause sometimes like there is an, uh, like the app hasn't updated. So that can cause some problems viewing either mobile or iPad or, you know, on the, you know, any of your, what do you call those things? <laughs> you and more I handed me this today and, um, it, it, she she took this from, uh, uh, is it called a podcast? I mean, I don't know those things that, you know, where you watch somebody talking about, you well, know, what's going on in the world. What do you call those things? I, no, because it's, it, it, his is not in that format. It's more just a, a YouTube video. Yeah, he shows up. Yeah. He shows up and he talks about stuff. And I, 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 I like what he talks about. Yeah. But anyway, this was what she gleaned from that today. And, and it went right along with what I was saying earlier. Teaching skills and problem solving leads to you becoming more adaptive and being able to do more than the skill, than the skill taught. Learning how to learn. I added that kind of part at the end, but it really was about this whole, you know, He's very active as far as building community and under to end response, like uh, during hurricanes and things of that nature. Some of y'all may Natural know who I'm disasters. talking about, but I'm not going to name any name because I, that's not what this is about. This is more about the the takeaway. And, and what that is is that it, it, it's even from the Bible. I'm going to teach you how to fish, versus just giving you the fish. That's the, the, ultimately that is the, you know, the quick little thing is that I want, we want to give you skills, thought process, critical thinking skills, um, metacognition. All of that is to better you to hone the skills that you may already have. You just understand, you have to just kind of like recognize when it becomes skilled, then you can apply throughout your. Adapt it to your yeah. situation. And, and that's, that's part of, you know, what I wanted to get back to, and I'm glad you brought that up, Mariah. Get back to that part that I was talking about, the prompt. Hi, Kim. And it, it's not that I have had a prompt that started me, but I was prompted to create this kind of book with these 
edges by a video that I watched. And it was so long ago, I don't even remember who it was. But it's taken all this time for it to marinate, marinate, to ruminate, to move through the different parts of my brain to become a concrete or at least somewhat concrete. Yeah. Uh, this is when know. the concrete's good. <laughs> idea. I, okay, the idea is still vague enough that I well, can. Well, no, it's really that, you know, okay, there, to keep to our jello mind frame of things. Jello starts out as a fluid. It does. It does need to set up a bit in order for it to, because you need to you, you need to at least have enough of a, a formative idea that yeah. you know how to start. Yeah. And that is why a lot of times I will stop and start a project. You've noticed. Mm -hmm. I will put it aside and I'll do something else. That's because I don't have a clear way forward at that particular yeah. time. So when you ask me to define or someone wanted a tutorial, I can't do that for you. And I just... That's not how we, we, we I go just, about that. I, I, that's, yeah. It would, it would be a tutorial that was three or four months long. Well, and here was even the thing, like, when I created the one paper set that has instructions on how to do things, people didn't get it because it made sense to me. I don't know that it makes sense to everybody. And I even like did some videos and things like that. But for me to pass it along to somebody, it's quite complicated because they don't have the same skill set or understanding that that I already have. So that gets tricky. And and so the things that we do seem complicated and, and I always feel like we kind of need to apologize or at least preface with that, that we understand that. But we're here to give you skill set, give you tools, um, techniques, approach. Yes. How to approach the different things that come up. How to come about to an idea. Things like that. Yeah. We're, we're, we're giving you the hammer, saw, and nails. But uh, the you're powder in the water, Eddie. Is he being purposefully obtuse? He is, but I like Eddie. it. He says Jello starts as a powder. <laughs> Such a <laughs> he knows things. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for your fingernails. I don't yeah. know. I don't the know. The gelatin. Care. Yeah, it's a gelatin. Mm -hmm. Used to be made from horses' hooves. Hooves. Cows. Hooves. Okay, can we get some art started? I mean, we. Just yeah. Can... Well, I wanted to tell him. I'm, I'm. Oh, I got the new. I don't. The new card. They're a little... She thinks they're puny, but I don't think it matters. I mean, how stiff do they have to be? I like a stiff card. Well, these are kind of limber. All right, yeah. Mariah, there you go. They got a great finish, though. They do have a nice finish. And I'm very pleased with the print job this time. Yes. Our, our faces are a lot more recognizable. Mm -hmm. that's exact same deal. file. Same file. Yeah, okay. Didn't change a thing. All right, here, here's possum pouch paper, which... You know, I left it on the plate because I, I wanted it to flatten out, but it picked up a few things. I don't think it's a big deal. In fact, it's kind of nice. Uh, just one moment, and we'll be getting to that. Oh, yes, that was perfect. Yes, so SWL says her comment about the prompt also included her thoughts on that um, That she... Okay, so um, her... Like, what we do, the gel printing, is not something that she primarily does, but she always finds a takeaway. Hey, and that and is exactly am, right. That is exactly what I, I, I'm, I'm talking about. And that's, you know, I mean, I love it that people do think like in lots of streams. I've heard it too that you know they think that we're we, we got the gel print going on over her, which obviously we do, and that's very much her focus and love. But I think one of the reasons that we try to talk about all this and have the Thursday thoughts and bring it into the whole mixed media thing is because obviously that's what we're going to be doing anyway. But again, that it's it's not just about those particular mediums or that type of art. It's about how you go about getting the ideas and then turning that into something. 
Okay, I, I, I love this. I think this is wonderful. Uh, that is oil pastel, right? Yes. Yes. And I, I can't tell you what kind it is because I don't know. She won't I, do the chalk. Number I, one, it dries you out. But like, that, that's, well, and it doesn't. It, and it's, then it it's not off good everywhere. for a frottage. It sucks. It's not a frottage. It isn't for frottage. Now, this is the other color that I use a lot when I want high contrast. It's this kind of peachy pink stuff. And I think this might look good on the back of one of my tags. Or, you know, other places. It doesn't hurt to have it around. Just remember, once you get your frottage finish, you need to seal it with something because it will continue to rub off and that may not be what you, mm -hmm. you want. But you saw how I did that. All I did was use now, granted, this is this has had pretty many coats of paint on it. But that's actually how it comes. That's a five by seven version, I believe. Yes, and I just cut out off Again, the she, out, yeah. outside. You'll have to do that. This, this is the stencil. Yeah. This. So is, if you're looking for that, it has a whole square border around it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it won't look it's called like stompy that. rocks. It won't look stencil. like that until you make it like that. Trim your edges. <laughs> Trim your edges. <laughs> Cut her hair. All right, now, what I've been thinking about here, and I need to get my book out because I've got to make sure that mm -hmm. my page, oh golly, we're just. Hey, what what was the other website that you mentioned while you were talking about? Um, Jim Quick. Sarah, okay, Jim Quick. The one I just talked about this morning? Yeah. Yeah, the guy that, that had the brain damage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and he offers a course. I mean, he's he's been all over the world. He's met all the people from the X Men. Well, that's cool. I know. I think that's really cool because I really like that. I like that movie a lot. Okay, so here we go. It, it, it has enough violence and thing in, things in it that keep her, you know. Yeah, her and Brad go and watch all the, the X like Marvel movies that come out. I don't like it. it's too loud. Okay, so here, here I'm thinking, and you know, this is really hard for my, mm -hmm. my brain, because again, we're talking about positive, negative, and okay, so the pouch itself needs to needs to have. Um, Opening. Is he um is he an Asian dude? He is. Yeah. Did you find him? I did. He's highly entertaining. I mean he he speaks to two things I'm interested in. Okay, so I have this dish. And I'm just I'm I'm thinking about this. If I use this now I I'm thinking out loud, okay? Don't hold me to it. <laughs> she's she's jelloing. I'm jelloing. If I cut this out like this, and then I cut it a vertical cut here and a vertical cut here, I'm going to be able to squeeze it in and out and adjust the size of the orifice. And I think it's lovely because it's very vulvic in shape, and I, I like that. Orifices has been added to the PM isms. I cannot believe that it was not there. I really felt like it was. I feel like I, I really fell down on the whole keeping yeah, up with you the PM isms did. and then Mo people slapped up on that list on me and I was like, oh, I'm sure lots of those are there. Not a darn one of them. Okay, so is everybody on board with me and where, where my thinking process is? I like this and I, I love your, your verbiage that you're using with it. Um, it, it is. All of now those I things. do here, here. I have a slight hesitation in doing this. I don't have much of a margin here. Well, I think that's all right. Well, <clears throat> okay. Can, do you have access to the little Kleenex box um, thing that I made for the front of that one journal? Mm -hmm. yeah. Journal book slash book. Yeah, it's right here. Well, we showed it the other day, but I, I think you're gonna better be able to understand what I'm talking about here. If I can use that as a, I like to untie it because it confuses you. 
it, it does. But then you've got all those little things hanging out as uh -huh. they go through, it's ready to snag up on something. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Here's what I'm talking about. Get these back under here so that you don't know. That oh, are you saying because you don't have anything to fold it back around with? Because I don't have this here. I don't have enough there for it to create, you know, well, the depth of the pocket that so I need because this goes all the way in. So piece See? something in. I, I mean, come on now, sugar. Piece it in. If you need me to glue it down, rip them edges and glue it together. Well, at this point, I'm not totally committed to this piece of paper. I could make a bigger one. And that, that seems to me like that would be a lot more. Well, then get on it. <laughs> you know, whatever. But can you see what I'm talking about? My, my yes. You need more. I need more here. If you want to pouch that big. <laughs> if I want to pouch this big. Your paper needs to be bigger. My, my paper needs to be larger. Okay. Size matters. In pouches, too. So much of the time. Heavens to Betsy. Isn't that the trick? Heavens to uh, Betsy. All right. Now, I got to thinking about this because I've got this smaller orifice that I have here on the bottom. And I thought, well, how could I? I also want to mention that I caught her downstairs as, or right as she was heading up the stairs with the dish. And she tucked it under her arm and then just gave me a little kind of, you know, grin <laughs> and then just tootle dude upstairs and I was like oh, I'm not even asking about that whatever <laughs> all right well you know <laughs> I'm always touting the process of problem solving so I think that I should at least be able to uh, you know give give it give I'm, it I'm a, with you on that Leslie a, a good go what she says some of them Korean and Chinese men are hot. I, I agree with oh that. Oh my, yeah, they are. They are beautiful. And I'm watching this, This I, I love Korean so She's operas. talking about that too. Mm -hmm. I, I really honestly do. They, they're they just funny. Oh, hi, Sandra. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking the smaller orifice <laughs> is going to allow me maybe to use this Okay, so you're you're kind of plotting out where the I'm I'm pl plot I'm trying to make a pattern here because I, I can't trace around this because this mm -hmm. is the bottom of the dish, right? And I'm thinking that you know I want to know if this is even going to be a viable solution, and I'm kind of thinking it is. Okay. Um, let's just cut this bugger out. Oh, Sandra said, why can't P just use the smaller part for her pouch? She's checking it out. Y'all are on the same wavelength. Yeah. Uh, what made you think about the plate? Okay, very good. Um, this is part of problem solving because one of the steps in problem solving is asking yourself, what do I have within my environment that I could possibly use to facilitate this? What do I already know that can be used mm -hmm. to advance the realization of this project? Well, now see, suddenly I have a lot more mm -hmm. here. The pouch is becoming available again. It is. And what I, I want... I think the smaller orifice is going to be more um, of an advantage as well for tucking things in because the bigger the pouch the looser it is yeah <laughs> just saying okay well let's just let's just do a little visualization here yeah okay so this leaf's going to go in and going to stick out about that much so okay, where are the rest of your little boogers here mm -hmm. Else, this is Terry says, PM Artist Studio, where the dishes aren't even safe. I, I can't tell you how many of the little dishes, I mean, they were hers, so it's not like. Yeah, and measuring, when I was doing batiking, there was never any measuring spoons or cups in the cupboard. They were all out in the garage where I was doing my batiking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, we know that they're going to go in, and they're going to fit in yes, like she. this. So, how many are we going to be able to get in there? Uh, mm. Well, I 
don't know. Now, I, mean, I don't know. We could do just like I did the other one and just have them line up like this and go one way. We could probably get more bang for our buck. Yes. More, more, more show doing that. Mm. Well, and then I think you can squish them down a little bit. To squish them down a little bit and, you know, as long as we've got room in the pouch. Yeah, because wouldn't you get them in there and then you could kind of fan them out. And even with that, you could see, like, do your other stack and kind of, you'll stick them in as a group and then you can kind of fan them once you have them in there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like we did the others, yeah. <laughs> and pull them out and look at them one at a time. So to that extent, perhaps we do want to make it slightly the opening slightly asymmetrical since we're going to be using very little from this side Jackie. now that we've decided we want them all to be coming in from this side mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying yeah all right this this is the kind of problem solving I didn't find this someplace I'm not sharing this from somebody else that you know already did this I have no idea. I just got the idea from the Kleenex box, okay? That's where I'm coming <laughs> Inspired from. by Kleenex. Inspired by Kleenex box. And they did I, not sponsor this video. No. The next thing we need to do before we start cutting on this is we need to get our book back down here. And I don't know if you have noticed or not, but I posted photographs of it. I took top shots and different shots and then I changed the whole like when I post the video oh I didn't do that today in makers you know, no I, ha I, haven't, I haven't noticed that but that doesn't mean anything you shouldn't take it personally it's because I've been busy doing other things oh I didn't like that sound okay this is the page that we were thinking about what's the what's the little is that some tree stuff that's lost in there or what are you talking about Oh, oh the the sound of that. No, here, hold on. This. No, that was on the original print <clears throat> that oh, I pulled. Okay. It was something off of the plate. Isn't it great? There's another little <laughs> thing right here. <laughs> well, I just didn't know if some trees got loose or what. <laughs> That's funny that you would say that. And I really, I, I, I uh, didn't have a lot of choice because I, I was using up pretty much the whole print, and. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I thought about not having that, but I, I sort of like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, the whole thing is, is we're going to be covering it up anyway. For the most part. Yeah. All right. This edge here doesn't have to be like this. We can accommodate it and have it be more organically oriented. Oh, and I think that's a brilliant what idea. Yes. To Okay. I was just not getting what you were I didn't know if you were going to fold that in or whatever you were going to do, but you're just saying that it's going to glue like directly to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to glue directly. Okay. Now, do I want to leave an edge or do I want to smack it up against that inner fold there? Oh, hey, Ricky. Um, Actually, the uh, Choppy Waters is a kind of oldish. I mean, not old, but, you know, it's been out for a little while. Yeah, Pete demonstrated that a few times. What is it? Choppy Waters. I'll try to find. Oh a, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, try yeah. to find the video and I'll post it, in makers, and I'll 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 uh, tag you. I'm writing myself a note. Okay, so I'm thinking here. The reason I'm going to bring this in somewhat and cut this out here. is because that's not what I want showing through there. <clears throat> okay? Mm -hmm. It can show through on this side because that's kind of sort of interesting. See? Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure the other is. And then now that I look at that, I think maybe it is. So I'm going to erase that line. Okay. Changed my mind. Remember? Jello, not concrete squeeze that in there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that page again and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about there. Look at that. Oh, okay. And it's right where some, I, I just have to, to make sure that that's exactly where that is because I really like that. All right, so.
do we want to have some of the purple showing around this edge? It's not going to be down there. Um, no, I think we need to make this go out right to the edge. Let me see talk what's me, under. Can talk I, me through. Yeah, can I see what's under there? Just so I can, you know, know. Okay. Um, I think what would be nifty, but this is just me and how I, you know, approach things. Because <clears throat> I don't like the straight edges. Uh, what I'd do is I'd tear that thing from that one corner all the way around in sort of an oval tear line so it comes down to right about where the purple hits and if you don't feel comfortable doing that I will do that and what would be cool about that is if you tear it in the way that you know it decals the edge like I you know like I like and how I do uh, you could even come in and either put gold or purple or feather it in. And Highlight it or feather it, you know. And the <clears throat> other thing that I could do is I could go ahead and come in and wash in some color. Because uh, I think that this yellow is just not, mm -mm. you know, next to this. Yeah. It's not good. It doesn't make sense. It, it's, it's, it's pukey. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark here where you're going to be tearing, right? Yeah, but you need to mark where the how far the purple goes down because I think that it should rip all the way. <clears throat> well, I think it should rip all the way down. I'm yeah. going to change the background color here to accommodate oh, your ripping. Okay, I knew that. Okay, so and here... I'm going to have this come in a little bit away from the edge and uh, you know that's really kind of a good thing then we're not going to have to worry about how to cut it off it, because it's really hard when you're talking about this middle oh thing yeah. here all right now remember this you're not going to tear correct this is going to be the yeah. straight line okay yep but this up here you can tear and um, to, I'm yeah, going to make a perfect. little mark there and uh, wherever you come off and end up yeah. over here that, that's what's true. Okay, so um, let me just pull this clear across here so I can, you kind of know. I mean, you know, it's not like. You know. You know. If you know, you know. Okay, so you want to end up somewhere down here. right around there you know more mm -hmm. or less okay do I want to, to go ahead and draw my hole in yes I think that would be helpful okay so here's our well I don't know I actually I don't know that that's just thinking about it I don't think that matters because we know well, what needs to come off this is true, and I can position the hole depending on where you do your mm -hmm. your, your tearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> okay, now while Mariah's doing that, we're going to talk about the color that I, I'm maybe thinking about using here. Because I know that it, I think it just needs to be brighter. Uh, brighter yellow, or what are you talking about? I think it, it needs to be more in, uh, or maybe I just need to go with, if I put the purple over the top of this, it's going to make it that really sort of darkish brownish. And I think that might be a good thing. Yeah? Okay. Okay, well, let's just try it. If we don't like it, we can do something else. And I can do that because uh, we know that this has been covered with some other stuff. Well, hopefully that's true. And the, the, I think the thing that really I'm looking for here is contrast. I'm looking for a bit more interest that's going to be showing through there that perhaps maybe picks up one of the colors that we've got there because there's some really pretty... Um, kind of this color here. 
Now, did I tear that enough? I, I don't know. I'll tell you in just a minute. <coughs> okay. I, I, I'm busy. Okay. I'm busy purpleizing. And people were worried Jeez. that my book wasn't quite purple enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Purpleization is underway. And the thing about... Hi, Colleen. The thing about it is, and this is really a sucky brush... And hello, hello to those of you that come, have come in. Do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, we do not know that you're here. Give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't already. It's very much appreciated. Remember, if you need to come back, leave comments. I will be choosing from the beginning of February streams on into the Sunday before we start March Madness. I will be picking and choosing or maybe choosing a whole stream. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm decided that. yet. But comments. Okay. Commenting on so the comments. So, we're going to have to... Mm -hmm. Save your bits. That's right. Move you may need them. this out of the way. I love that. This? Yeah. I mean, that's made all the difference. And you, you can see. Right here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this side of the page is also, you know, it's kind of a continuation of what was happening on this page yeah and we don't want them to feel like they're totally different maybe take it over there a little bit that's good go and i apologize if this is not in the frame i don't know what else to it's do. a big book <laughs> big book big back we know oh, did you see that look at that like a caterpillar Taking a little bit over to the next page, which is kind of cool because it's already got some purple stuff going on there. I think this really helped this mm -hmm. a lot. Put that a little purple splash up there. Chuckles and grins. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to put this. It, this will dry very, very quickly because we didn't have a lot of paint going on there. So we'll just set this up. Where am I going to set this up so that it can dry? Over there is a tent. And we'll tent. turn over the board. <clears throat> and we want it to be asymmetrical. Now, I don't, it doesn't look like it tore off enough. I didn't, I figured it to lean on the side of, you know, not enough versus, um, you know. It's got to go in like this. Okay. okay. Well, let's make some new marks and show me where I can. Okay. I'm going to just start it right here. Yes, that's what I would do. Give it a little tear right okay, there. Okay, perfect. And down here. This side is great. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. Hand that back to you. It might have gotten a little bit damp. That's all right. The inside isn't, isn't an issue. Okay. So we know that our we're going to have this more over on this side. And remember why? Because we've decided putting our leaves in this way is preferable to... Um, Still more. All right. Well, oh, tearing the wrong way. I want that edge. Yeah, it's important. Good. I'm losing my pattern here. <laughs> okay, I like that. I, I, it doesn't have to. You know, it doesn't have to be. Well, or chop. Just do a straight chop on that one side. This is this, this is. I know, but if you want it, wanted to straight chop on this side. No, if you want it over, and that's where you want it, put marks top to bottom and put it I, on I the chopper. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. That's all I'm saying. Want to straighten that up? Okay, so now we need to talk about, and I'm going to let Mariah cut this out. 
Oh goodness, okay, I can do that. <laughs> now, are you just kind of pushing in there or is this actually making a mark? We shall see. I'm pushing. Okay. We can erase pencil more. I wonder if we should add poosh to the, you know, PM is. <laughs> and I'll put a link. I put a couple of links to things. Like, so Fragile. Oh, and just some little fun facts for y'all. Fragile comes from the Christmas story. Whenever he gets this really, you know, awesome prize, the leg lamp. And he says, for a G light. She's like, no, I think it says fragile. Or, or he's like, oh, before he, before she says that, though, he says, oh, I think it's Italian. She's like, no, I think it says fragile. <laughs> so we say that all the time. Yeah, for and G it never fails to crack me up. <laughs> God, I love that movie. But I could just, you know, I, I just. But see, I don't know if so Mo many knows, levels. I don't think Mo probably knew that. I don't know if the Christmas story is a big old deal in the UK. No, I don't know either. Like, it may not have the same. Like, they play it for 24 hours. Actually, I think they play it weeks before, like, on TBS. Uh, just nonstop. So, you get your opportunity to watch it. All right. Now, while Mariah's cutting that out, let's discuss. Because she is a consummate artist at this. Doing that, that edging. Because I do not want white. White is just not going to cut it. And I want her to do that before we glue it down because it's a whole yes. lot easier to it do that. It certainly looks a lot neater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you know what you're doing. But let's talk about, you know, what color we want it. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking keep it in the peach, peachy, the color that's on there, or maybe even like a... Um, a golden brown. Okay. Yeah, because you want it to kind of look like I it's. Want it to look like it's shadowed. Kind of dirty, and um. You aren't keeping. Not your like you know it. It it was done this afternoon. Kind of thing. This might be an older vulva. <laughs> it is. So what I will do here is I will mix up that color for Mariah while she's doing that and um, make sure that, you know, she has plenty of it so we don't have to remix the color halfway around. Oh, yeah, because that will be a real Okay, warm. well, I've got some stuff going on here, but the, the wonderful part of, of um, acrylic paint is it, it's dry and it's not going to resoluble, I, I say, as I I say, in, I say. As I pour in... <laughs> and it's getting really good. A I was tiny little squish of this. A squish of this. Oh, what is this? Can you please say it out loud? A squish of this. Well, I can't. I can say this. It started off as Van Dyke brown. Yeah. But I put other things in it too, just to clean out bottles. Yeah. But then the Deco Arts is what? It's uh, rich espresso. Okay. And a thing I really like about this. Yeah, just a little hanger on her here. <laughs> and see this, it has just a bit of shimmer. When you do water it down with something like this, it's knocking it back even more. But it's still there. And it's I just think it's such a lovely uh, little combo there. Oh, that's wonderful. Marguerite's... Um her, her sister's husband is Italian, and he says fragile. Oh, he does. <laughs> See, that would just crack me up every time, because I would think about that movie, and I just I love that movie. All right, so we're looking at it here. What do you think, Mariah? Is that is that a good color? I like it, and the thing is, is you can always make it darker. It's harder to you know lighten it up. Yeah, it is, and, <laughs> and light. If you talk about lightening it up, you're probably talking about using white and that's going to opacify mm -hmm. it and I don't want that to happen. So I'm thinking that that 
is really going to be quite nice. Okay, let me just tell you that this paper was awesome to work with because it was thick enough that I could just use the um, X-Acto knife. I followed your line. <gasps> I love it. Oh, let me put it down before you, you look at that. And sorry, that might have been a really horrible sound. <laughs> but now see what's cool about this is that when the when the the um are out oh, look, you can see this in the background. That's why it was important that that color be a better color. Yes. Especially now that she's thinking about it after the fact. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, now you can you when can you're do, coming through portals. You can you can do a little bit. Oh, I have to show you where is that on? Oh, you want me to do a little, a little bit of the stuff on on the? I'm I'm going to show them these. So I don't know where these came. So somebody sent us these. Oh yeah, I, it might have been Jeanette. Well, I opened. This I feel up. like Jeanette or Maxine. Okay, I'll. This these needed erases are great. Okay. They come looking like that. Okay, so I'm just going to come up here and give that a bit of a... card on me. That's the only place that I think you didn't hit, Mariah. And that was kind of a... There, we got it off. Oh, you're... Your, oh, the pencil mark. Yeah, sorry. Pencil mark. Now, you are going to go around yeah. the inside of this with the mixture here. Okay. I hope. I'm hooking in the thing. Now, I don't know what kind of brush you want, so I'm going to let you choose that. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't really. Oh, that took off a little. I'm going to use my sponge. There you this, go. That baby. Oh, whoops. I, was, I thought I did so good. <laughs> what, monitoring her? her. Mm. Okay, so we've got our pouch on the way. How are y'all feeling about this? Well, that's probably, that's acrylic paint, isn't it? I don't think you remember the manage trap, manage. This what, we, what are you talking about? Combient. That's when we used combient. Oh. oh, so the C was right. I just thought it was a typo. I changed it. And then that's why I was like, oh, and, and then I looked it up in French, and that's what it was. But I'll add well, that. Well, and I, I do say too sweet all the time um, mm -hmm. when I want people to hurry up and get her done. Well, that's on the list, get her done. And actually, um, I can remember when I was in junior high, still in Walt. Because <laughs> I used to he, he, come up to me. And he'd stand there for a minute and look at me, and I said, Dylan, what am I going to tell you? Just get her done, miss. He says, I don't know if you know what that really means. <laughs> I said, I don't want to know. I just know what I want it to mean. Get over there and get her done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think you know what that means. <laughs> you think he tells that story? I don't know. Wouldn't it be funny? He was a darling child. I loved him to pieces. And you know, the reason I ended up with some of the students that I ended up with is because they'd already give, given um, band and music a chance and they'd been <laughs> removed. They didn't agree. <laughs> been removed because of their inappropriate uh, mm -hmm. behavior. They're like, yeah, we're going to send you So um, I, I pretty much, yeah. you know, uh, when they were removed from my class, I didn't, there wasn't any place for them to go. <laughs> right. And they were not going to be able to graduate without their... A fine arts credit. So, yeah, I, I love that when they'd send them to me. Kenny Austin used to say, you, you think you can do something with this guy? I said, hey, if you're sending them on after they've already been kicked out yeah. of everything else, <laughs> heck yeah, I mean, that's a golden position for a teacher to be in. No other options, buddy. Yeah, no other options. I used to do this. I said, is this meaningful? And they would nod their heads. Yep. I said, good, just, just a little gentle reminder. Okay, I think I did a pretty bang up job there. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's fabulous. 
Now, if I could just glue it down. Well, <laughs> that's... There is that. Mm -hmm. okay. But I want to line it up to the fold there. And I might have to have you do just one more little... One more little... I don't remember that, Mo. We need to find the link. Cause okay. I've been linking things too. Like So the Tommy Un thing, I put in, hey, if you want to see us actually in action. Can you like rub a little of that stuff on that piece that I just tore off there? Yeah. Please? <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get the glue ready to go. How are we doing there? Do you want me to kind of come along here? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Give it a couple of plunges, you never know. That's fan blowing its nose. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Keeping in mind that, you know, my gluing philosophy, which is you haven't put on enough, it's, it's not ushing out. No, your memory is just amazing. <laughs> amazing. Oh, I'm glad I did that other edge. That that was a good call. Brilliant call. And I put glue there where I really didn't need it. Oh, hi, Sandy. I thought you were here. But I can... I can rectify that. Okay. I don't feel like you're on the edge of the thing, but I'm not really looking at it either, so I'm just gonna, like, not, yeah. Well, hey, Mo, it's something. <laughs> Alright, you're there. Yeah, wipe the glue. Wipey, wipey. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna have a kind of set up little line there. <laughs> and it's not wanting to. Yeah, go down. Now it's to that do, tape. Well, bend it. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Just hold on to it. The rest of the string. Got thirty minutes. What are y'all doing? So I can always come in and give that another I think so. Yeah, just keep round kind of. Oh, I, just... I just want to make sure I've got it out to the edge because that's really what's going to be. Yeah. And I'm not sure what the content of this paper is. I, I don't know what kind of, who, who this paper is. <laughs> who or where. Who or where. Well, y'all saw it here. The pouch was start to finish, basically. I, the start of it was the other stream, but that was just getting the paper. I, I'm putting these in right now because it's kind of like mm -hmm. I want it to stretch ever so slightly mm -hmm. to accommodate. And now, since it is ever so slightly, yeah, it's like you need dampy. A, a sizer. A sizer. Size matters. Sometimes you need a sizer to come in. They're an expert in sizing. <laughs> Sometimes I entertain myself. Oh, look at that. Oh, my I God. <clears throat> oh, I love that that one little, okay, here, yeah. The one little peeking out one there is great. <clears throat> well, and I think we could probably facilitate. I think that one needs to go up front. More peeky outy. Mm-hmm. So that when, you know, you're, you're going through and you're opening up as you open up each. Mm -hmm. Hear that sound? Mm -hmm. You're starting to get little hints of your... That's probably some of your extra gluing. <laughs> Rude. No, that's not my extra gluing. It's... Hey, Gerald. Gerald loves your hat. Thank you. Miriam made yeah, this Yeah, that's a Miriam me. hat. And it's got a big chunk of 
but I hope that I did get that in the back, or at least on the side. Yeah, big oh, chunk paint. of black paint. Yeah, it's right over my ear, Mary. It's an All right, set. so that was the pouch, and I hope it lived up to your expectations. It seems <laughs> kind Nightless. of anticlimactic at this point, right? Oh no, I think that that was. Was I it don't everything y'all wanted? It, it to be? What did it live up to your pouch expectation? And, you know, I, I mean, as far as that goes, you could still have them going. I mean, know. was it supposed to, like, sing and have angels coming out of it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, there we go. Oh, no, look at that. I need more glue. Mm-hmm. As Susan says, it's magnificent. There's some loves, lovesies being given. Mm-hmm. I said I wasn't going to put that in my mouth anymore because I'll get lip cancer or something. Yeah. Right. Uh, and Leslie, uh, we have the printables available on our website. So if you want your very own. Now they are smaller versions. Ever so slightly. Ever um, so slightly. Not not much. By about a half an inch, just to be honest. And I do, I do like this peek through here. Mm -hmm. I think that's just brilliant. And the, this is here, and this is here. I mean, you know. It's coming. Now, that's some good stuff, Maynard. Good stuff, Maynard. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to work on here. What time is it? You got 30 minutes. Oh, good. Yeah. I've got lots of time. All right. We're going to remove the leaves just for now. I just, even without the leaves in there, they're fantastic. Isn't it? It's kind of like, a, a, you know, either a owl or a you know woodpecker hole or you know whatever like a hole in a knot in a tree kind of gives yeah. you that feeling for sure now on this page and remember the reason that this has the wide piece of tape here is because I knew that I was going to have I didn't know exactly I shouldn't say I knew but you anticipated I anticipated at the time and I thought, you know, it's better that I have planned for it now. Yeah. I could, it, it can always just go close like a normal one. But I want to have this portal. side. This is the side where I'm going to need Mariah to do her wonderful little magnetic work to keep in place the... Um, Slide that over and put that towards the center and people know that you're, what area you're talking about. There we go. Okay, I'll, I'll open it up so that you can see. Okay, you see where that is? That hole. So there needs to be magnets around it. But, oh gosh, what did I do with that? Now I've got mm -hmm. to find that. All right, I'm bringing back the box that has a bunch of stuff. Susanna, they're available on the website if y'all want your own downloadable version of the leaves that you can play with. Okay, now remember we talked about this, and this originally was what made me decide, and I made another one. I really wish you'd cut oh, that here it is. Cut out, out of it. Yeah, see that's oh, a better topper. Oh, here's another leaf. Well, I've got some more stuff that I do want to talk about in there, but not right now. Maybe on Sunday. I don't know. I, we may spend the whole time talking to Darcy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, we chatted with Chris for two <laughs> hours. <laughs> no problemo. <laughs> oh, that's the truth. I was like, oh, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wasn't through reading all of my. Trivia. Oh, yeah. I had my cards all laid out here. Maybe we could do some more trivia on Sunday. I thought that there was, it, it there was a, lot of fun. a whole bunch of things I did not know. Okay, here you go. Thank go to you. Goodwill. Find one of these. That's where this came from. Mm -hmm. Denver, Colorado. Hooker Street. I just, see, she remembers that. that that's, <laughs> that's the sort of things that she remembers. Where I got this thing. But, oh, you know. Okay. Oh, and I love this side because this is, again, I'm not doing, I, I don't care no. what happens. This side will stay this way forever. It's fabulous. It's a Vincent Van Gogh starry, starry night mm -hmm. kind of situation. All right. Now, this is what I want to happen here. I want. Oh, um, Sherry wants to know, is it Buffalo China? I think it is. It doesn't, it's not listed as such. It's a, it's a cheap knockoff from China. But it's T-E-P-C-O, TEPCO, USA, China. Oh, it's not like China, China. It's like, you know, 
This China. Tepco. Oh, not from China. China. It's Tepco, China, USA. China made in the USA. Yeah. How, how odd is I that? I love Ironstone. I really honestly do. I think all of our dishes should be that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that way you feature your food rather than your yeah. work and plate. Oh, uh, Buffalo China was used in diners. Yeah, it was. Because it's tough as nails. It will break, though. Well, I mean, yeah. Drop it on top floor, it breaks. Mm -hmm. So I this is what I want shining through that oh, hole. Oh, yes. Love that. I know. Didn't I do good? You and did. look, I really, I kind of made it line up with the bottom here. <laughs> it needs a little nip off. You want it to set right. There. Look at that. I mean, yeah. I really did pretty good. But you have to remember it's not going to be able to sit in the pocket all the way down to the end because you're going to have their pockets going to come here so we have to somehow figure this out and if i want to make the pocket and have multiple tags in the pocket okay. which of course i do okay which panel is the pocket on see she just wants to talk about it and think about it for you know 15 minutes and i'm like okay just let's let's address the situation Okay, which, po okay, uh, all right, yeah, we need to see what panel is that going to go on to there. Okay, okay, well, it's not, this is, this is where, this is where it's going to go. Right, like that. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um. But you have to make sure it stays right there in that spot. Okay. And I want to do this before, and I might just go ahead and go with, if you do the, you know, I don't need anything else on this page necessarily, but here's the thought. I think it would be more interesting if we had something else, you know, to kind of break up all of my Vincent Van Gogh so that you can ooh and awe on it. Well, maybe what you need to do is make that like a little flippy thing so, like, it's in, it's in, no, the Vincent Van Gogh thing, because it doesn't go with the scenery. It doesn't go with what's here. No, it doesn't. So this would be a great time to outline it and make something that could, you know, flip open and just either, you know, just, it could even just be some of your brown paper because then that's more neutral and goes with the background. But then it's like this surprise when you no, open it up. Really oh, and then you could write on, if you did the little brown paper, you could write stuff on the little brown paper. Well, I'm almost thinking at this point, that I will just make another one of these. Okay, that's possible because because got then, the stencil. Uh -huh. um, I won't lose. I won't have to address this because this should go in. Because look how perfect that looks at going out this way. Oh. And and this really the color on this is not necessarily, but I don't care. I'm not changing this. I love it. Yeah, agreed. Okay. But that was a solution if you did want it to go there that you could do that. All right. So I need another, I need another, um, blank and it needs to be about that size. You could outline that again. You could outline that one onto something. So that way, cause I love the, I love everything about that tag. Yeah. You just need to kind of recreate it. Exactly. But in your color scheme. In my color scheme, and I don't know that I've got a big enough piece of. This one has a thing down the middle. I don't, I'm going to have to to go through my um, selection of stuff and get because I don't have a big enough one, right? So I'll have to do that later. Okay. All right, but that's where we're going with this, folks. Mm -hmm. So that just so that you know. I'm going to trace this out just so the panel and everything you can get some color onto it and I absolutely love these and you can see and I used my round circle breath. Barbara says uh, she, I love it because as a young girl my grandpa always took me to his favorite diner introduced me to his friends so I love diner plates and cups and etc and that's see that's how, that's why all y'all are like yet yeah, like this because like you, you put these awesome little, little memories with things and so it's like oh, I just I know, because that, that's exactly what she does. It's exactly the type of thing she does, but that is sweet. Okay, well, here we go. So, we can Aww. focus. 
you know what's going to happen on that page. That's what's going to happen on that page. Yeah. This is going to be. Oh, we're going to have this. So, are you going to put more pocket on that side or no? More pockets on what side? I don't I don't know yet okay. on this side here because I, that might be interesting all right too. I think what needs to happen right now is you need to start to pull your where are all your tags and what do you have so far let's lay them out and kind of audition people for okay panels or whatever well and some of them okay I, I love that Mariah you're just so brilliant and this is why I have her over there so she can remind me where the hell we're going <laughs> Okay, now I could She's almost. Be fussing about. <laughs> I don't know that this is wide enough, though. See, it's not. Because I want to get that that mm. roundness there. This is almost wide enough, but not mm -hmm. quite. I don't know. I might make it work. It go right up to the edge. Though. Well, the thing is, is you could slide it and then just trim in the middle to meet the point. So you can still use that as a template. Yeah. I'll just. I, I've got lots of. Um, okay. All right, we've got this. Mm -hmm. We've got this. We've got this. Oh, and I found these two little goobers the other day. Remember, we worked on these early on because I didn't know what else to do at that point. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those. Remember those? And this is like, who knows where that's from? Oh, that, that's I can, alcohol ink. I can tell you. And brushos. That, that's like one of those crazy little experimental pieces, and I, I'm actually surprised that it's dry because it has some of that crazy um, tar gel. And Maya sent me these, and I cut them out, and I definitely want to use them. Oh, yes. And then I found these, and oh, I Oh, yeah. I know. thought those were really cool, so keep that in mind. Just keep that in a little envelope here. Mm-hmm. I want to keep that over here see what else we've got here oh we have to use one of the the um to do a tag to do a is there actual tea in that yeah this decaf chocolate hazelnut i wonder if there's any calories in that i don't know but i'm gonna put it in my pocket and drink it later i gave you yours me looking at me like that. Oh, and here's Becky's stickers. Yes. We need those. Oh, and we need this little piece here. Uh -huh. And see, I, I have to almost have it as a, because it has a cute note on the back. My dad wore Old Spice. What? My dad. He did what? Wore Old Spice. Oh, yeah. So put that in there so that doesn't get lost. But we've got these tags that are. Hi, you guys. Oh, and remember this one? Yeah, I still need some. All right, and you're like hanging out over off on the side. There you go. Thank you. Your box is taking up the. You know, My box show. is taking up the prime real estate. Yeah. Okay, so we've got those. I don't know. Put those back in there. I've got this tag here. Doesn't really have anything on it, but it's not tall enough to be. I mean, it's fat enough. Uh, just barely. This one would be, but but I could have Mariah do her magic. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can extend it. So if I did this on this side. Okay, that might, yeah, I think that might work, and Mariah. What's that other piece that you got there that's similar to that one? Perfect. I can use that to splice it in. Well, make sure you get this little hickey in there, okay? Okay. Because, see, this little hickey down here is... is it's friend. Mm -hmm. These, t yeah. Yeah. All right. It's not quite as wide as the other one. No, we're going to turn it. Oh, so it See, goes that the, the way. Puzzles. She, she does. That just doesn't sit in her brain. That that's. Are you good with that? I'm good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Put that up there. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got this. This needs. Well, we need verses on a lot of them. Now, are this the tags one, uh, from the jelly plate? Um, parts of some them. Some of them are. This one. Remember this one. 
This is the one I created with my roll of paper. Went like that. Now, did you roll that on the gel plate and then pull it up? Uh-huh. Okay. I think this you showed the, that. This is the ghost print. This oh, is Susan. the print. Yeah, this is, this is, remember my little tape roll thing? And that's just yeah, the over, glue. Over. There you go. I don't know why you think the camera's on that side. I don't either. <laughs> I've told her where it is. It should be. <laughs> it needs to be right here. But when I do that, then I lose the other part over that away. Well, I guess. I know. You know. Oh my gosh, there's another one of those cool little cards. Oh, Carla. Okay, um, got that, got that. Okay, I need to, I could do something with this, but I don't think it's wide enough. And then I've got this other goofy stuff on here, which is really great, but it's not. I need, you, you need to purpleize that. You I need to purpleize rub that. Rub some purple okay. on it. Rub some purple on that, she said. <laughs> I'm here and I found, hey, monkey. found my oak leaves. I'm so excited about that because I can do some more um, yeah, stuff on stuff. Yeah, do you have papers that you're Yeah. Gonna Oh, okay. Yeah, and where's my other ones that I started off with today that I'm going to put something on? I'm keeping this because I am definitely, this is, I'm going to work this in somehow. Yeah. And I've got the other part to that here somewhere. Oh, here's another tag. And here's this. This is a good one, but the back side is sucky. <laughs> But, you know, that kind of stuff happens. We need to get something. I need to back this with something because it, it will be more interesting if it's a little larger and oh, I don't know, Susan. other things going on. But I don't want to cut off all that, so that's not going to work. Okay. Are we going to, are we just sorting through things? You good? Um, yeah. Okay. There's a link to the funky leaves there in the chat. Those of you that have come in, do say hello. We still got about 10 minutes here. Well, 12-ish. Make sure you come back. Leave your comments. Mucho importante for the entering of the gel press giveaway that we will be okay. doing during March Madness. March Madness is going to be the 25th through the 31st. 31st is Easter. Yes. We do stream on holidays because we like being with y'all. Yeah, and we don't do anything anyway. Well, egg, we'll probably do some egg business, but you know. Yeah, that'll be beforehand. Okay, I've got these two, and I'm I'm thinking these are pretty much done. But I was looking at this, and I was thinking at the same time, you know what I want to do on the back of that? I want to do some oh, impasto. Do it, yes. Okay, show them that again. Because see, that's what's on the the flowery ones there. Yeah, that's what this is. And that flower is from the ATC set of, I know Rhonda did it, but I think it's the Valentine one. One of the Valentine ones. And I just think this just needs to be a little bit more dynamic. It's, it's, I think it's, it's off to a good start. Yeah, it's just too pastel -y and Yeah, and, and like, I want it more in this range. But yeah. now, here's what I did. Because remember, I was really irked about, and yeah. I don't know what I did with the other part of that one. Just cut the black stuff off. I cut the black stuff off. But the black stuff, I, I didn't discard it because I thought mm -hmm. it really was cool, except I don't know where it got off to. Oh, no worries, monkey. No worries. Anyway, it'll, it'll turn up. I That's right. And, and the, there's it, just so. one week left in the heart promo. If you want to get your heart stamp, you got to place an order for $50 or more. Yeah, and I wanted to show you this print because this was what, remember when I was doing all the Ooh. trees and everything and I would, I had it over here on my, as a brayer off. Uh-huh. But look at that. Isn't that wonderful? It is. I might glue some of that stuff down on the back of some of these tags. Might be a little palsy wowsy but, you know, for your tags, they don't all have to be just matchy-matchy. 
Right, for right. me, my brother like went through this phase with like, well, and he still does. He's he's very into the, um, you know, the frou frou. And some of it is just a little overpowering. I'm very sensitive to it. But I polo, and then in eighth, when I was, no, I was like in sixth or seventh grade. One of the older boys had polo in his locker, and it had fallen out on the floor. And I mean, for weeks, the halls smelled like polo. It was disgusting. It's not one of my favorite scents anyway. No. Oh, there it is. There's the black. No, and it was the cheap one. You know, See? cheap polo. Meant so for, you know, junior high boys. <laughs> yeah, and they never know when enough's enough. Either that or they're just plain stink and they don't use anything. And that's when I used to say, you need a little fruit for you. You need a little cover some of that up. Sweetie baby. Oh, good guess. But this, remember this? I cut this off of this. Because I didn't think they go together. But once you take them apart, look out. You love both of them. Mm hmm So, there you go. Yeah, they just weren't jiving together. They weren't. And I need to do something to the back of this one, too, but I want to be very careful because I love how this feels in this book. And I really should just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I just want to curve those off a yes. little bit. You want me to snap I them? love this stuff. Here, let I me. I think I've got it over here. Oh, you got the chomper? I got the chomper over here. Okay. But I do love this. And then there's this <laughs> one. And remember the reason that this one didn't get any is because it... It's got one of those things going in and one of them going out. <laughs> it was a testing. 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 Ding. Testing. It says so. It says so. It's true. But I love how this looks. It looks like it's an old piece of, you know, a box of something that somebody cut out. And I think it looks quite nice in here. Yeah. And that's what also one of the AT. Uh, that one might be a little bit bigger than the ATC thing. So that might be the four set of the Valentine. <clears throat> and then Mo put the Buddha. Thank you. All the Buddhas. Yeah, and I don't I have some more little ones that kind of look Buddha like? Mm hmm I couldn't find them. Mm. But they're little ones. Yeah, that, they're different looking. They're different they're looking. They're kind of uh I would really like to be able to find those because I think that would be wonderful on the backs of some of the. I, I just really I, I feel that. Okay, we've got to get rid of all of this. What? Oh Are my goodness! I anything? need to move right right along. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of talking today. A lot of talky talky. Well, you have the eyeballs. That might be kind of cool. I don't want any eyeballs right now. Okay, so we're going to do this. Let me just get my plain white paper down here, because that was kind of awful. So, Impasto Clear Gel Acrylic Medium by U.S. Art Supply. You can't beat it with a big stick. And it has this little membrane thing in there. Don't get rid of that. It, it'll help your lid not stick okay now I've got this little I don't what whatever piece of where this came from this was obviously kind of a tag that was on there and I do dearly love that I think it came from Sharon I feel like that's true so I really don't I want to in in my placement here I'm considering I don't want to cover that up so I need to get my ugly board back here. Sorry. Try to use the side that has less offensive. Well, I would say what happened is, is that the um, envelope with the other Buddhas is somewhere mixed in because they're not back in the box. Oh, I think yeah, that I know. Oh, the Indian Nights, yes. Okay, I'm going off the edge ever so slightly because I do want to kind of cover and maintain what is already there as far as the color underneath is concerned, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Yep. Okay. 
And if you want your own vat of uh, impasto, Mo has put the link there. That is to our Amazon shop where we are affiliates. And if you guys take part in that, we appreciate it. Give us a little commission, no extra cost to you. That's how that works. And so we all have been using that. that. We very much appreciate it. I mean, it. it's not like, you know, we get to go to the Bahamas with that money, but hey, it, covers some, that helps. it covers some paper and that's nice. <laughs> Okay, you will better be able to appreciate and see this when I put another color over the top of it, yeah. which I'm fully intending to do with some that I already have done here. Oh, thank you, Sherry. What did I do with those? Thank you, Sarah. Took them away. Uh, That's right, every little bit. Okay, I'm putting that in the plate. All right, you got five minutes to make something else happen. Um, or we can just, you know. Give it a give it a good and I've already cleaned my knife off. Yeah, you want to make sure you get that impasto out of there and um definitely if you have smaller orifices and things of that nature, you want to yeah. get it out of there because it will set up and it doesn't Little pointy go. places and you want you can just hold it up and you can really see mm -hmm. it on your hand and you can also feel it. But anyway, that's cleaned off good enough. All right. So, we're going to shut that up and then just going to take a little bit because remember what I did with the um, Buddha? I went over the top of it and just kind of gave it a little glaze. Yes. Well, that's what I'm intending to do with these that I did do. I thought I had three of them. Oh well. I don't know where the other one off to story of my books. life and here is so this is so funny all right this is the clear impasto i have no idea why it turned up pink i mean it didn't over here oh did you have something i don't know maybe on my, on the the knife that i was wasn't aware of i don't know but anyhow that's <laughs> hey where's that stuff that i you oh. mixed up There. Thank you. Okay, Here so you my sponge. No, I don't want your sponge. Okay. I'm gonna just grab a brush here. You got three minutes. I'm counting her down. And then I'm just... Oh, here's the other one. It's underneath. Got stuff. Now, see, it's a little pink on the edge. But I don't know. It's weird. Maybe what you picked, like when you did that, if you did that first one, if because it looks like there's something kind of different with that first one there. I mean, I don't know what order you did them in. Well, I don't either. I need more information to be uh, able to uh, calculate to able what to happened. Come up with a, mm -hmm. a viable solution. It'd be great if you scooted over towards your brayer area. Yep, thank you. birthday Heather okay can you start seeing where the rocks are mm -hmm. I don't know I might need to be going no. up I don't know I need a different color here um mm -hmm. I need some contrast okay it's purple eyes purple eyes if you don't know what color to use just use purple <laughs> especially That's my if you're advice. making a purple book hey I, I actually came by that that's what Gary Gore used to say in watercolor yeah if you don't know which color to use just use purple <laughs> Oh my golly, I think that's great advice. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So you added purple to it? I added purple to it. It, 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 did, it did something to it. It did. <laughs> and happy birthday, Leslie. Yes, happy birthday. Who, who's? Heather and Leslie. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm liking that. But the thing is, is if you gradually build up and you change your color, you don't just have one of these wah movie movements where you know you have a whole, although you know occasionally when I'm putting paint out there on the thing, there. but you've seen me stick it back into the. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna let her continue on with all this, but I, uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna say hello or hello goodbye. You know, bye. Sorry, I've had a headache this entire time, so I'm functioning the best I can. Words are hard, especially when your brain hurts. Anyway. 
thank y'all for hanging out. Once again, a very lovely Thursday thoughts. We very much appreciate it. Come back, leave those comments, do all that YouTube business, thumbsy upsies if you haven't already. Come back, watch the replay, you know, do all that business. But anyways, until then, we will see you back here on Sunday. Bye guys. Bye. I'm just going to continue on. <laughs>